Okay. I hope you are doing fine, everyone. So this video is the beginning of a new program. The program of Foundation Engineering. So by this video, I am willing to start the first video of this program. And I hope you will learn something from this program. So all those who are worried about how to design foundation in geotechnical engineering, this program is for you. So we will talk about uh, several things in in foundation engineering. Okay, so just remember if you need French version, uh, you can find also a link on every video. So each video will be done. I mean, each each part of this program will be done in French and English. Okay. And this is the, the English version. So in this program, we will talk about first uh, some review, review of soil, soil mechanics concept and analytical technique that are used in foundation engineering. Chapter one. Chapter two is in situ soil testing. Chapter three is about shallow foundation, the ultimate bearing capacity of shallow foundation. Chapter four is ultimate bearing capacity of shallow foundation with very special cases like uh, foundation on slopes, foundation on uh, layered ground, this kind of very specific cases. Okay. Chapter five is shallow foundation. And now it's about allowable bearing capacity and settlement. The ultimate one and allowable bearing capacity and settlement. Chapter six is geotechnical design of combined spread, spread footing. Seven, the mat foundation. Eight, structural design foundation. Eight is about the F pressure, lateral F pressure. Chapter 10 is retaining walls. Chapter 11 is sheet pile walls. 12, stability analysis and design of slopes. Mm. 13 is pressed cuts. And 14 is about pile foundation. Dried stuff foundation for chapter 15. And chapter 16 is foundation of on difficult soil not finished up to 20 chapters 17 is the soil improvement in ground modification chapter 18 is element of soil dynamic and machine foundation because that one is more complicated chapter chapter 19 is about cash on foundation and well foundation and the last one is impact of groundwater on the design of earthen structure, old structure about in half. That chapter also is very important. Okay, anyway, this uh, this video is just presentation and introduction. So we'll start just the first part of this chapter one which is about review of soil mechanics concept and analytical technique used in foundation engineering. So we will talk in this video about this, these three points maybe, but maybe just these two points, introduction and soil classification. And the next video we will talk about water, water in soil and so on. I think for this first chapter, it just review. So for those who know who know about all this already, and this chapter might be maybe boring. And from the next chapter, it will start to be more interesting for them. And for deep and more detailed understanding of this. I recommend you to 
to watch my video on soil mechanics, the soil mechanics class. You can find those video also in the in my YouTube my YouTube channel. The playlist is just soil mechanics. Okay, so you can obtain all detail about this point in that playlist. Okay, okay. introduction. So the geotechnical engineering applied technique. Uh, technology to the design and construction of structure involving soil and rock. Yeah, I think you know that already. Both soil and rock are involved in uh, geotechnical engineering. And for that, we need both soil mechanics and rock mechanics, not only soil mechanics. We need foundation engineering and rock engineering. All these are needed for in geotechnical engineering, soil mechanics, rock mechanics, foundation engineering, and rock engineering. The soil mechanics class, I am already I'm already doing this on my YouTube channel. Rock mechanics will come later. Foundation engineering in this is this program. And rock engineering also will come later. So when we want to design foundation, the first thing, our first concern is about the strength and compressibility of soil. And sometimes we need also to investigate the strength of the bedrock, but not all time, because bedrock is not like some, in some cases, you don't have even bedrock. Okay. So section number two, is about soil soil classification. So this chapter is just review. Okay, section number two, we have seen also in soil mechanic class, mechanical analysis of soil, how we analyze soil, that involve for a uh, coarse coarse grain soil means gravel and sand, and fine fine grain soil silt and clay, how we do mechanical analysis of this, these two types of soil. And for the, the coarse grain soil, the particle size distribution is mainly used for fine, fine grain soil that is mainly influenced, those soil are mainly influenced by water content. Okay, we have seen this table in my soil mechanic class. I think we have talked about this table, which is showing different type of classification, depending on the organization from a MIT, to the unified unified soil classification. This one is the very famous one. So each classification is giving us the, the size, the grain size, diameter size that will determine uh, the type of soil you have, the soil you have from gravel, sand, silt, clay. Okay. So if you want more detail about this, please refer to the soil mechanic class. Unified classification system, this system uh, is very famous and used for by geotechnical engineer to identify type of soil using the mechanical analysis and Attenberg limit. So it involves sieve analysis for coarse fraction means the 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 coarse grain soil and hydrometer analysis for the fine fraction mean for fine soil so by combining the two the sieve analysis and hydrometer analysis we can obtain the particle size distribution curve of each soil this is photo showing the sieve analysis and this one is about the hydrometer analysis. All these 
we have detail of this test in soil mechanics class. So we will not go, we will not talk about a lot of de detail here in this. This is just review. And you can get this uh, particle size distribution curve for many types of soil. Okay. So what about the atom bag limits? For fine grain soils, for silt and clay, the primary influence, the primary influence by water content. And this, for this type of soil, the atom bag limit, or again, consistency limit are used to classify them. Or well, this, this chart is showing the limit. The liquid limit is the border between the limit state and plastic state of soil. When the soil is liquid and when the soil is plastic. The limit between these two states of soil is called liquid limit. The plastic limit is the border between semi-solid and plastic state of soil. And we have also shrinkage limit, okay, between solid state and semi-solid state. So the liquid limit is a water content at which soil changes from plastic to liquid. You are here plastic. If you add more water, you will get liquid. Before the soil changes from plastic state to liquid state, that limit is the liquid limit. Okay, the number of blow required to for soil paste to close a standard graphs with a standard graph uh, counted like is counted to determine the liquid limit. This is, for example, using this test, the Kazakhstan device. Okay, and this formula is like standard formula, one point formula that give us the liquid limit. This is the water content and N is the number of drops you, by using this Kazakhstan liquid limit device. Okay, number of blow N. Again, the details in soil mechanics class. Plastic limit is also water content from which, uh, at which the soil changes from semi-solid to plastic. Semi-solid to plastic, the border is plastic limit. And the plasticity index, PI, is obtained by doing the liquid limit minus the plastic limit. Okay, I it's here PI instead of IP, okay? PI. IP is in French, liquid limit. And also here, LP, it should be PL. LP is in French. But anyway, all details in soil mechanic terms. So the unified uh, classification system is using this, this table. Okay, If your soil is uh, a coarse grain soil, means not fine, then you will need the coefficient of uniformity, which is given by this formula. D60 divided by D10. D60, you know already what it means. D10, maybe you know also. If you don't know, I suggest you again to check the soil mechanics class, my soil mechanics class. And also the coefficient of capital. The, that one is obtained by this formula, D30, D60, D10. So you need these two, CU and CC, to classify the coarse grain soil. And when the soil is like more than 50% of the soil is, has diameter, larger than 0 0.075 millimeter, then your soil is classified as the coarse grain soil. 
and you will need to use this classification. We will, uh, if you need more detail again, please go back to the class of soil mechanics. And then when the more than 50% of the soil is smaller than the diameter has diameter smaller than 0 0.075 millimeter, then your soil, your soil is fine, fine soil, fine grain soil. And in that case, you need this chart of Kazagrand to, to classify your soil. As you see here, horizontal axis, the liquid limit and vertical axis, the plasticity index. You need this tool to classify your soil. So if you need more detail, please go back to soil mechanics class. So, but we have to do this review for before you we start the soil a uh, foundation engineering class okay so anyway this video was just about introduction and first chapter is just review maybe it's a little bit boring but maybe it's important also to we do that first before we continue to the other part of the foundation engineering program. Okay, thank you very much. And let's continue the next six 